Hey guys, what's going on? I'm gonna try and do a different kind of video where I try and explain basic uh, functions of the Leica Icon tablet. All I've done so far is created a project. I'll, I might call this setup, setup and sketch, tick, tick. Cool, so now what I might do is I'll do setup. So you've got a variety of different setup options you can uh, choose from. I think, say we're at a, at a work site and you've got, I don't know, say we've got a fence. Pretty typical uh, residential block. So you want to set up parallel to this line. So we'll just click on control line anywhere. And now I need to go to the total station and just level it up. So what I'm going to do here is see the screen here. Um, I'll line up this front, uh, I guess, pad. So I'll line up this with the two foot screws. And then I'll just follow what it says there. Cool. So all the controller settings at the top here, you want to go to NPR122, which is this prism. Uh, and then I've got a, I guess you could say a handle that has a bubble on it. But imagine this is a 1.8 meter a prism pole. Start at the front of my property, get it level, and then I'll click on the top here and go move and search. And then I'll turn the prism, the total station to find me. So I think you can see it in that other video that it's moving and following me. Um, so I'll set up on the front corner, hold it there, click start, store. And now I'll measure the back corner. All right, so now we've set up using these two points as our control line, as you can see on the, the screen. Uh, if we go into checks, you can actually see the distance is 0 0.363. So imagine that could be 36.3 meters. Uh, it's the same thing. All right, so now what we can do is we could go into sketching and then go across here to sketching functions. And here you've got like all the different kind of functions you've got within the sketching app. So you've got points and lines if you want to create points and lines, arcs if you want to create arcs, if you want to create offsets, offsets, and so on, point creation, patterns, trace, and data merger. So say you want to set an offset, click here, click on our starting line. And then on the, on the right here, you've got either a height offset or a, I guess, horizontal or position offset. So we'll go, okay, we want to go point, oops, 0 0.1 of a meter across. Go tick. Go start point, start at this line, come back down. Maybe I want to, what have we got? 0.15. Maybe we want to create a building or a shed point. 0 0.05 um, off off the back fence. Maybe that's 0.5 of a meter, so tick. And then we want it to be uh, 0 0.1 across. We'll go down, across. All right, so now we can go to delete. Delete these first two. Now we've got a shed that's exactly 0.1 off the fence line, perf perfectly parallel. And then we've got 0.1, uh, I guess, around the boundary of the, of the shed. We can go to connect points in the toolbox. We'll just connect that to close it off. So you could do connect points across like that. Go connect points again. And then we can go here to point creation, intersection, 
code intersection with the two points. And then we'll just delete those two lines because we don't need them anymore. And now we've got ah. now we've got the center point as well. So from there, you could even uh, go into arcs, create a circle, select the center of the circle. I'll go to radius, we'll go 0, 0 0.05. And now we've got a perfect circle. And we can set out that arc. So if we just go to, say, layout points, let's set out the corners first. And select that point. Zoom out, see where we are. Go start. One thing that, that can sometimes happen. Oh God, we're in uh, auto stake. Turn auto stake off. I'll leave all this in because I think this happens to a fair few people the first time they go to try and use layout lines, uh, layout points. It's this auto stake turned on. So make sure that this is not highlighted. Select your point that you want. Click start. All right. So now we got, so you see that at the top, uh, total station, you see just, the, oops, just there on the total stations at the front. So we need to go back 90 and then right 40, get it level. I need to go left 10. All right, cool. Now we can mark that You're there and then we can store that. Cool. And now it goes to the next point. So we want to go forward 95, up 40, 25. Ooh. All right, good enough. Store. So now what we can actually do now, is we can go to layout lines and say we've got the shed boundary. So now the poll will tell us to find, it'll tell us to go up and back uh, to try and find, or I guess left and right to try and find the, the line of the shed. So you can either go right into where the shed's gonna be, or we can mark that uh, anywhere to try and set up some hurdles. So okay, that's three meat. That's three mil. I see you're over here. You can click the other line. So just to select the next line, you just just tap it. All right, seven mil, and you set up some hurdles. This works exactly the same with the GPS as well. And we can find this line, so we need to come up. And then we can go either side of the line. As you can set out the circle. So So now we can also go back to as built, and go start line, start measuring. We'll go back on our starting point, and then we'll store it. Store. Store. Now we've got our block. Uh, other things you can do in sketching, point creation. So a really easy way of actually creating points as well is you go to points and lines, start point, and where you might start from the center. Probably won't start from the center, we'll start from there. And then this wagon wheel is basically, this wagon wheel allows you to uh, create lines and points uh, from any point easily at any 45 degree angle. So you can just select moving around like that to which angle you want to, which bearing you want to create your next point. So if you want to create a point 45 degrees from 
point what is it, eight from point eight, then you can do as at a distance of whatever you wanted, say 65, then you can actually create add a height to that as well. So say we want to come out 65, looks like it's uh, almost the center. So we'll come down 65, turn the, the line off, so we just want a point. Uh, you can also type in the bearing, the angle. Um, create two points. So we create a point there, create another point there. So what you can also do with this uh, wheel, I guess you could call it, you can go start point, and if you don't have, you want to try and make it go to that 17, in the angle of the 17, go to the toolbox and go rotate point pilot. So you tap that, and you select yours, and then select the next one. And now you've got the angle down the bottom, 175 degrees, click tick, and now we can create that point. Oh, better not go 200 meters. Point zero two. Tick, tick, and then you can see now we've got a now we've got that that line. You can also just connect the, the lines, and then you can set out that line using layout lines <laughs> in patterns. Now you've got bay windows and anchor bolts. So say for this shed, you've got uh, hold down bolts you want to put into the concrete or you can select any of these patterns. So once you've got the, the, I guess, the boundary of the shed drawn in, as I showed before, and say you've got the center points of where the hold down bolts need to be, you can select any of these anchor bolt patterns. And say you've got, this is a pretty typical one. Click on that and then you've got, okay, now dimensioning. So between each bolt, we've got a 0 0.02. Imagine it's 200 mil. Do the same on this side. Cool, so now we've got the dimensions of our anchor bolts. Insertion point, see, that's where you want this pattern to be dropped onto. So obviously the insertion point is gonna be the center point that we've already drawn into our drawing. If the anchor, the hold down bolts that you're about to install are um, are off center, you could maybe select this point or that point uh, and then just shift them across. But say we'll do center for today. Now to find orientation. So now we want to set the bearing that these anchor bolts are going to be installed on. The bearing of what we want the, the hold down bolts to be. So we want to set it up with the shed that we've already set out. So now we've set that bearing or the orientation, click the yellow circle, and now we get to apply the pattern. So we'll apply the pattern on eight, seven, six, and five. So now we've got our bolt patterns there. Click tick to accept, and now we've got those bolts. So now what we can do is go back to home, and just like we did before, go to layout points, we can set out those bolts uh, and then each, so instead of setting at the corner, you might just set out these bolts. And we want to see where this line intersects with another line. We just go and go into point creation, which is in our sketching function. So always go here first, select what you want to do. Then once you select your functions, go into the toolbox of that function. So this toolbox will change each time you change the function. Then go into intersection select that line, select the other line, and now you've created, you can, this on the right, you've got the line, so you can either create a line or turn the line off. But yeah, here, now you've got an intersection point of those two lines, click tick. Now you've got a new point to lay out. You can do divide line. So say we've got this line, and we want, we've created this line, and we want to separate it into, say, five equal parts. We can just go to our point creation, because we want to create a point, toolbox, divide line in our toolbox and then here on the right side you can put in how many segments you want so okay i want five segments it's calculated that to divide this equally five times it will get a 0 0.076 mil between each point along the fence line so I might click tick now we've got new points on that on that line go to point creation 
Uh, we can do line offset. So we can select this line. And when you select a line and these flags come up, the green flag means that's the start of the line and the checkered flag means that's the finish of the line. So from the start of the line, so the green arrow, so that's the start, we want the point to come up uh, 0 0.2 and then we want it to offset. So it's if you're sitting at the green flag, we want it to go left. So we'll go minus 0 0.1, zero, oh no, 0 0.1 then minus tick. And now we've gone left. 0.1 and forward 0.2 and we go tick now we've got a point on the offset point creation we can go snap points so if we want to uh, create the center of this circle say we didn't have this circle this point in the center we already but we had a circle already in the drawing I'll do that now I'll just so to delete any points you go toolbox delete and we'll just delete that point Oh, that'll get rid of the circle, I think. So we go snap points. If you wanted to create that circle, you can always just click this with this button on the bottom right here, and that'll create a point. Uh, there's a few other functions here. So that's creates it on the arc. So if you want to create a point on the arc, you just click this and then select that. Select the circle. We've got arcs, so we can create uh, radiuses and circles. Offsets, uh, the store projection is similar to what we were doing before. Uh, and data merger is where if you've got two files that are the same, uh, sorry, two files that aren't in the same location. So say you've got this drawing here, then you've got another one over here. You can merge the two by using the data merger. So you find two of the same, two of the exact same points on this drawing and another two points on this drawing and you can go to merge them together. Uh, hopefully this helps get a, a little bit of an understanding on the sketching app and its applications. Really, really powerful for if you're going to a brand new site and you just want to get straight into it and you've got no, you don't have any data provided. You can basically set draw out your paper plans on the tablet if you wanted and then start setting it all out. So yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to leave it down in the comments section or contact CR Kennedy. Cheers. Thanks guys.